Their thought and earnest is uh, based on a book by a very famous illustrator and author in the UK called Raymond Briggs, who I'm sure other people know around the world. He's, he's big in Japan as well. He did a film called The Snowman, which was Oscar-nominated in 1982, and uh, that's shown every year in the UK. It's become a sort of institution at Christmas. Uh, everyone gathers around their TV for that showing. And uh, this adaptation, Ethel Nernis, is, is about his parents, and his parents have really featured in all his major works, not directly, but um, there was a feature film made in the 1980s called When the Wind Blows, uh, and that featured characters called Jim and Hilda Bloggs. And those characters really are his parents, and, and the, um, the house that they live in is really based on the house that he was brought up in. So that's what it's about. Uh, they, they, were, they met in 1928, uh, by chance, and um, the film follows their story through 40 years of marriage until the early 1970s, so it, it covers that uh, very important part of the 20th century. As a, so it's a social history of the 20th century from a, two ordinary people from their point of view, but at its heart is this, is this wonderful love story, and, uh, and really that's that what seems to be connecting with people all around the world despite its very British basis. I, I mean, I think it was a, a very brave thing of him to do, actually, to sort of, because he, he's in the story himself. Uh, he, he didn't really want to be, but he, <laughs> he just had to be, because that's part of their, their lives. Um, and he wasn't sure when he sent it off to the publishers whether it would, whether it would get published. He didn't think people would be interested in, in their story, because th there aren't any you know, huge events in it. In fact, we have him at the beginning of the film in a little bit of live action saying that there isn't a huge narrative arc to it like you would get in some Hollywood uh, film, uh, almost a requirement there. But this is slice of life stuff, uh, lots of little, little scenes that build up to a, a bigger picture. Uh, well, I'd worked on his other films, at Snowman and When the Wind Blows and The Bear and Father Christmas, uh, at a studio called TVC in London, who did the Yellow Submarine. Yeah, Raymond really didn't want it made to begin with, and the producer uh, there chased him for some years, actually. There was a stage play done in the UK of it, and, I don't, and Raymond went to see it, and I don't think he was particularly happy with the way that turned out, so that knocked him back a bit. But uh, after a few liquid lunches, <laughs> uh, we eventually... He, he said, oh, all right, then do it. <laughs> but he, he did insist that he was executive producer on it. So I worked quite closely with him in the early stages, working on the script and the storyboard to make sure that uh, he was happy with that. I had to do some uh, rewrite, you know, not rewriting, but adding in new scenes to make it more cinematic and flow as a, as a film. And I had to decide which scenes to take out because it's, qu it's quite a hefty book compared to The Snowman, which is wordless and quite thin where we had to expand out. Here we had to decide what to take out. And also, I linked up some scenes that weren't linked in, in the uh, book, just to give that cinematic flow to it. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's a brilliant writer. Uh, most people think of him primarily as an illustrator. The snowman has no words in it, but uh, he's a brilliant writer, you know, uh, as good as any we've got. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd compare him to Alan Bennett. Or his economy of words and ideas and, and wit is, is extraordinary. And I did fall f flat on my face a few times with sentences that were too long and that they weren't the kind of speech patterns that his father would have said, for example. He, he got me on a few of those, and, uh, but I was very, very happy to change them. Um, but there weren't that many. And, and, and a lot of what's in the film, the dialogue in the film, is, is Raymond's dialogue lifted straight from the book. Uh, so, I mean, he's, he's really the writer of the, of the film, although I do get a, a writing credit on it, but uh, most of it is, is Raymond. Yeah.